we need to figure out the two points at which this graph intersects the x-axis. Intersection at x-axis means that y would be equal to 0. So if we put y equals 0 in this equation, we get x plus a times x plus b is equal to 0. And therefore, the values that we need are of minus a and minus b. So if we know the values of a and b, the values of minus a minus b can be known and the question can be answered. Statement 1 tells that the y-intercept of the graph is 12. Y-intercept means x equals 0. So when we put x equals 0 in this equation, we get y which is given as 12 here. So 12 is equal to 0 plus a, that is a times 0 plus b, which is b. So we know that a times b is 12. However, we have two variables and one equation. So statement 1 is not going to be sufficient. Statement 2 gives us one more equation in a and b. Alone, this is of course not sufficient. However, when we combine, statement 1 gave us one equation that a times b is 12. And statement 2 gives us one more equation that a plus b equals 12. We have two equations, two variables. We will be able to solve them. Please do not waste time in finding out the values. The values may not be rational, but there are going to be unique values. We will be able to get some value of a and b, and therefore we will be able to find the values of minus a and minus b. So, determining the two points at which this graph intersects the x-axis is possible, and this became possible when the two equations were used together. We could reach a unique answer. C is the correct answer choice.